Hello and welcome back my beautiful buccaneers to another video. Today we are playing Harvestella again. <laughs> I haven't actually played through this game since I, I did do it once. I did like fully beat the game, which you guys can go check out on my lives. But now we're going to replay through the game again, so let's just jump into it. New game. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. I'm so ready. Okay, female. Okay, the, I gotta, I've got to just mention this. Look at this. This is all six. This is your option. These are your eight character options. This is who you're going to be for the entire game. It's the same on every one. It's just the same. This is terrible. I wish I would have fixed that. Now, hair color, brown, obviously. Uh, eye color, I don't like the brown eye color. I think it looks just a little creepy. So I'm just gonna go with green. Yeah. Here I go. Yeah. I'm doing voice two. Uh, you can name your character. I love that you can name your character. Arabella, let's go. Name Arabella, this game will begin. Confirm this game. Yes, I'm ready. Just Take me into the game. Here we go. All over again. I'm so ready. I'm just a little nervous. Oh. Creepy. Arabella. Arabella. Why? Rise and slime, sleepy <laughs> What? Rise and shine, sleepy head. It's time to wake up. Okay, bossy. Oh, so creepy. Oh, look at that. Quietus, oh! I still say, like, Quietus is beautiful. It's like, so pretty, I love it. Okay, she's healing her character. Who is this ghost girl? She's kinda creepy. You should be all better now. Whoa, creepy. Come on, let's go. I already know who this is, but she's still creepy, so I'll get out. My poor character. My poor character is just lying on the ground. I wonder what temperature is it, it is in this game. It's probably cold. Ugh, I do not like the cold. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite temperature? Like, you know, your favorite season. Mine's summer all the way. I just, summer's the best. Okay. Round, we're in Leafy Village. Oh. Gotta go talk to... I actually, I still don't know her name. I still don't know her name. Ugh. What is her name? Girl. Her name is just Girl. Okay. You might be, no, you might just be one who can save the world and the girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice options. What do you mean save? Who are you? Where am I? Uh, yeah. Who are you? I can't tell you that yet. You can't, how hard is it to tell me your name? She's got a really, like, her hair is so long. Wow, she's got me have grown that up for years. There will come a time when you will have to choose between this world and the one that existed until now. But don't forget, this is the story of your world. As long as you love it, you will find a way. Wow, thank you. <laughs> that does not help me whatsoever. So, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how hopeless it may feel at times. Yes? Don't turn away from it. Okay! I won't turn away from it. Okay, and just walk off. Nice! Just waiting in dead silence. Oh, there's music, but... Oh, bird's eye. I love bird's eye. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. Look how beautiful Quietus is. Just look at that. That's so beautiful. Just the weird little, like, ash leaves things. Like, the little leaves or sparks or whatever they are. Look at that sea light. I just... That's so pretty. Oh, well. There goes our character. She's dead. <laughs> no, don't worry. She's not actually dead. Harvest Ella. Nice. Music, the creepy, ominous music still playing in the background. How wonderful. Ah. <laughs> I was trying 
to block it. I didn't do a good job, did I? Just waiting. Just waiting. Any second now, game. Ugh, why now? I should be out on doctor's rounds. Excuse me? Do you think it's about time you woke up now? Who is this bossy person? No? That's fine. I have something for that. I know who this is. Okay, Crest used magic. She totally used magic. She had powers. And now it's daytime. It looks really nice. Oh, you're awake. Yeah. Crest, we're awake. Because you used magic on us. That's why we're awake. Forget I said that. It's not like I was going to use magic on you to wake you up or anything. I just saw it! You were using magic! You were like bippity boppity boo! Wake up! Oh boy. Who are you? <laughs> Give me some answers, please! I'm Cress. I'm the doctor of Leafy Village. It's a town at the bottom of this hill that we call Bird's Eye Blaine. Great. I, uh, uh, Bird's Eye Blaine is so pretty. Now it's my turn. I, okay, I don't have a name. <laughs> No locust in the right mind would be walking around during quietness. Are you a traveler or something? I actually have no clue. I'm, yeah, your character has no memories whatsoever. Hmm. Seems like your memory is a bit fuzzy. Crest, it's more than a bit fuzzy. It's gone. There's nothing there. Well, never mind. I'm about to go. Come to my clinic and leave you when you're feeling a bit more with it. <laughs> so rude. She's just like, oh, well. You have no memories, okay. Where's, yes, look at that. There's a chest right there. We'll have to come back and get it later. But there is a chest, which is great. I love treasure in games. It's wonderful, okay. And there's also, I'm pointing out where the treasure chests are, right there behind your house. Okay, the character, let me know in the comments. Is this a shed? Because the characters in this game call this house a shed. This is not a shed. This is a little cottage. This is like a cottage. That is not a shed. This game does not know what a shed is. A shed is like an, a one room building. It's like itty bitty. At least is what it is here. It's like one room. It's itty bitty and like square. It's little. That's what a shed is. I mean, kind of big. It's about the size of this room I'm in. <laughs> That's what a shed is. That was a whole cottage. I'll point out to you when they mention it that they call it a shed. But like, wow. I love Leafy Village. Look at Leafy Village. It's so pretty. And the music is so good. And it's pink. The sea light is pink. Yes. And just walk into the village. Oh. You. <laughs> okay, I, uh, this character just annoys me a little bit. Hey, are you okay? You look kind of out of it. Oh, I know. You're that one Cress was talking about who who were found collapsed on the hill, right? Yes. Anyways, I'm Van. This is Leafy Village. If you're looking for Cress, she's probably in her clinic. Okay. Yeah, where's her clinic? Hey, I'm Auntie. You want me to take you to the clinic, don't you? Uh, yes, please. Show me the way. Sorry, no can do. I may not look it, but I'm actually super busy right now. I'm right in the middle of a game of Princess and the Omen. And after that, I'm gonna play. Oh no. Here we go, playing Harvestella. Watch me butcher these names. Uh, Conculo? 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 I, I don't know. Conculo? 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 That's how Conculo catch with Fant and everyone. Oh, sorry, vent in everyone. Mispronounce that. It's not hard to find, though. It's at the top of the hill in the square. You can't miss it. Okay, thank you. And now the game will show us. That is a cool fountain with the giant, like, crystal. That's really cool. It's really easy to get there. Just follow these the this street and climb the steps from the village square. Okay, thank you, Van. Well, see you later. I gotta get back to my game. Okay, have fun. To the clinic. You can view the map by pressing minus. Nice. 
around. I'm not talking to NPCs. I don't like to talk to NPCs in game. I have a bad experience with that because like I played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and every time I walk past an NPC they want to battle. Ugh. I didn't know you could hate battles until that game. There were so many battles. Oh, no, it was way too much. And now I just don't like talking to NPCs. Okay. Damn, you're back. Now that you're here, would you mind mixing up the mayor's medicine? Okay, I am not dim. Hello. It's, oh, it's you. Who else would it be? Welcome, come in, how are you feeling? Remember anything else? Remembering anything yet? No. I see. Well, you were outside during Quietus. What is Quietus? <laughs> oh dear, you forgot about Quietus too. Yes. Even do yeah, even we doctors don't know very little about it. Quietus is a season of death. Awesome. I mean, not that people die, but it is. That's just so cool. When. Dust from the sea light is abnormally emitted into the atmosphere. Okay, so dust comes down and kills you. Wow, okay, that's nice. <laughs> it comes in between the four seasons. We believe the dust can be deadly if it enters the body. So everyone usually stays inside during quietus. Now then, come over here, please. Okay, quietus is like, I know it's like super deadly, but it looks really cool. <laughs> Why are you just standing there? I'm about to give you a medical exam. Oh, yes, doctor, check me out, make sure. I didn't hit my head or something. Gives you a medical exam. Okay. For now, your body seems to be in working order. You're very lucky for someone who fell ill during quietus. It's a miracle you're still alive. Wow! That's great though! At least I'm still alive! Anyways, this works out for me too. I was just running out of beds, so it's a good thing you're better now. So now, regarding your next. dark it's all of a sudden dark what was was that an earthquake it's so dark out oh it's an eclipse that's what it is crest emergency dim what was i shaking just now the sea light is acting weird come quick everyone I will introduce you to our second character. Meet Dim, Cress's brother. I don't think he's older. I think he's younger, but I don't know. What could those... Okay, yeah, yeah. Go after Cress and Dim. Got it. I actually want to explore. I don't want to actually go after them yet. People in here... Can we go upstairs? I don't think it's going to let me. Nope. Can't go up there yet. It's forced to go. Let's go. Gotta go. The game wants you to go. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Follow De Dim and Cress. Yeah, look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. That's a beautiful color. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, the divine attribution of our time has come. No, it hasn't. It's just glowing. Sea light is intensifying. But why? Quiet is meant to be over already. Clearly you're wrong. Quietus is happening all over again. <laughs> Look! Yay! What is it? Look! How can you, That's a beautiful color. That's a beautiful color. The sea light, the fall sea light is just gorgeous. Oh, there's this the summer sea light. And of course, spring sea light. They're all glowing! And then winter. Oh! That's so cool. I love the sea light. The sea lights look so cool. Uh oh. We're just waiting. Waiting on this cutscene to be over. It's a meteor shower. I love meteor showers. It's a spaceship. Space aliens. Oh boy. That's a pretty color though. Okay, whoever was in that just died. 
or else has extremely good luck because that was they just boom hit the ground what was that did you see that i told you this is a fine punishment did it land in the north square oh yeah i totally landed in the north square i don't even know where that is i'm scared <laughs> look at you two scaredy cats our town's a pearl we gotta go find out what's happening no stay away from it Hey, don't run off like that! Damn, they're not gonna listen to you. Nobody listens to you. Damn, let's go. Two, there might be casualties at the scene. I mean... <sighs> Cress. There could be, like... There are gonna be a... <sighs> quite a few casualties. That thing crashed into the ground. Whoever was there... Hopefully no one was there, because I don't think they'd make it. Oh, yeah, and it's on fire. That's nice. Don't touch it. That's a bad idea. That's so cool. It looks so cool. I can't believe it. How could something massive fall out of the sky? I don't know. It just did. <laughs> Imagine if the order... Oh, the order. you got to be kidding me. Not them. We're here today. Imagine how many people would have been hurt, inj injured. Ugh. I hope everyone's all right. Uh, they'll be fine. <laughs> I hope no one's inside of it. On the bright side, it looks like no one got hurt. Cress, how can you say that? You can't see what's underneath of it. I'm just saying. I mean, and also, this is out in the middle of, like, nowhere, so... I don't think anyone was out there. Stay away from the crystal, everyone. It could be harmful effects on the body. Yeah, it's on fire. Don't touch it. Did someone inform the mayor he should be back in town by now? We will! Vant? 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 Oh, they, they put two V names next to each other. Come on, it's our time to shine. Let's go. Yes, go get the mayor. Okay, alright everyone, show's over. We'll take it from here. So then you can, the rest of you can go home. Okay, Dim. Oh, it's an alien spaceship. There's gonna be aliens inside. Oh, you must be the traveler my sister told me about. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these characters. You better go home too. That's awesome. <laughs> what is this? Nope, I would walk the other direction. I would not go anywhere near that thing. Are you kidding me? No way. An entrance? You can go inside? I mean, that's what an entrance, an entrance is for. So you can go inside of it. I will go. No one worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm the brave one. Hey! No one told you you can go in there. Don't worry, I'll be fine. You're still recovering. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Honestly, I'm fine. I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like there's a person inside. I want to explore. Like, I want to go everywhere else in the ship, but we'll have to wait till later. I can't go anywhere else. This is all you can do. You can't go anywhere else. You could leave. Um... And there are other doors, you just can't open them yet. Hello, are you a human? Are you okay? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Are you alright or come on, stay with me? Uh, are you alright? They're in pain, but still breathing. Okay, they're not dead. I'm like surprised though. It's a good thing they were wearing that armor because that fall? Oh boy. Red. Eh. On this. Hey, are you okay in there? What's going on? Oh, hey, are you okay? What's going on in there? Oh, I misworded that. Uh, there's a person inside? I don't know if they're human. A person? Like a human per- Yeah, me and Cress are on the same page. It's like, are they human? Cress, I have no idea. What is this? That's- Traveler, get away from that now! 
Why? So I already know who it is. Why? Because that thing's an omen. <gasps> oh, right. You're amnesic, aren't you? Yes, Cress. Thanks for re reminding everyone. That's probably, it doesn't mean much to you. Yeah, I don't know what the omen is. I already know. Well, long story short, omens are trouble. They might be the ones behind Quietus. <gasps> yeah, but this one's injured right now. Like, you're lucky this omen isn't dead. <laughs> well, yes. <sighs> you're right. I cannot pretend I didn't see it. I mean, honestly, you could pretend. <laughs> if you want. I know it's terrible, but honestly, Chris, you could just walk away. I don't recommend it, though. That's, that's terrible. Isn't that right, Dad? Cress, who are you talking to? Come on, let's carry it outside. Okay. How old is this character? I'm like curious. How old is the main character, like the protagonist? How old are all these characters in this game? I guess they're all in like their 20s. That's what I would guess. If you see all later on, they're all in their 20s, but that's just what I guess. Cress, that's because I looked at the Wikipedia and it told me nothing about how old they were. It was inside, it was still alive. That's not what I meant! <laughs> yes, I know, but I couldn't just leave it, th in it there. Chris, Tim, have you found out anything about the flying object? There! <laughs> My goodness, I'm astounded that crystal crash landed here. It's enormous! I mean, that crystal is huge. And it's also a spaceship, apparently. There, there was an omen inside it. Wait, so the door locked? Because it's now red and it was blue. So I'm guessing the door locked. Oh, yes, it does. It does look like one. Mayor, please tell her we're not helping any omens. This was clearly all they're doing anyways. Dim, you're assuming. Seriously, are omens really that bad? Well, bad is an... That's a huge word. Oversimplification. I think I got that right. Are you the traveler I've been hearing about? I heard rumors that you came from afar during Quietus. I was on the ground, asleep, and this weird girl with wings and long hair talked to me and said something about saving a world. <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, this person is from the rumors. So wait, we've only been here like three hours and there's already like the whole town knows where we exist. Wow, that's nice. Just been one thing after another. What on earth is going on? Mayor, all my beds are still full from last week's incident. Wait, what happened last week? I'm more interested about that than I am this main story. Cress, what happened last week? What happened last week? I wanna know. But I can't just leave this wounded omen or the or this traveler here either. Indeed. We cannot provide refuge to an omen in It is omen, right? Yeah, it is omen. In our town. Okay. I thought so, but as a doctor, I can't leave behind any injured under any circumstances. Yeah, Cress. Calm down, Cress. I just said we couldn't keep the omen inside the Leafy Village. What do you mean? <laughs> See? A shed. They call it a shed. The mayor does. There's a spare shed on Birthday Blaine, isn't there? It's not a shed, it's a cottage. It's a literal house. That's not a shed. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Is that a shed? The birds I blame, is that a shed? That is not a shed. That is a literal house. It's a little house. It's a tiny home, but it's still ours. It's still a house. No one would notice if we took it there. I grant you permission to treat it there until it remains consciousness. Ah. Uh. Now, to carry this omen over to Birds I Blame. Could you lend me a hand, Traveler? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, look how big this room is! How do you call that a shed? Hmm, I won't be able to treat this omen if I can't get under its armor. What's this thing made of? It just won't come off. That's why it's pointless even trying to treat an omen. Cress is being nice, Dim. Seriously. Take a chill pill. I suppose all you can do for now is let it rest. 
Now as for you, what brought you to our town? I don't know, honestly, I have no clue. Mayor, her memory was affected by quietness. I see. You were incredibly lucky to make it out this far during quietness. Oh, that's true. Oh, well, now we mention it. Uh, a girl saved me. There was this random floating, like, lady, and she had, like, weird, like, wings things, and she had, like, long hair, and she had terrible bangs. I mean, those bangs were terrible, but that's just my opinion. A girl? Yeah. No, the villagers should have been out that time. <laughs> they all think I'm nuts! Her body was weakened. It was at a weakened state at the time. It's not, it's not unlikely that she may have experienced hallucinations. Oh, great. My character's hallucinating. Hmm, perhaps in that case, she should probably get some rest, too. Yeah, great. This shed, he called it a shed again. Twice. Has been vacant. Vacant. Vac. I know the word. I know I know how to say the word. It's just not coming to me at the moment. Vacant. I need to vacant. Ever since the last owner left. You may use it as you please. Great! They gave me a free house! Now, excuse me, but I must be on my way to the village meeting. We have decided to on a plan of action regarding the crystal that landed here. Press them and leaving the rest to you. Great! I get, they just, the mayor gave me a house. We get a house! And also, um, uh, I'm guessing... Oh wait, this house, right, with a total omen, or whatever this thing is. I actually know who it is, but I'm not spoiling it. Chris, are you sure you want to take th in this omen? Damn, well, how could you say that? At least this person isn't dead. Have a heart, seriously, it's like, oh, there you go, getting too involved again. You put yourself on the line too much. Dim, why are you complaining? You're not the one who has to stay here with this could-be potential, like, killer. I'm just saying, he's a complete stranger. I'm going back to finish rounds. Sorry, I've been preoccupied with everything going on at the moment. Yeah, hey, listen. Yeah, go ahead, Crest. Go back to your house. Get a good night's sleep. I'll stay here and watch over the red armored figure. Why not? You've been through much more than I have. Take it easy and rest for the day. I'm sure your body must still be fighting off the effects of quietus. Okay. I'll leave it to you. I'll be coming back to check on you tomorrow, alright? Okay. Still, can we like look around? This, um, shed? I feel overcome with a feeling of tiredness. Time to get some rest. Oh, yeah, of course, the game. The game's gonna be like, you have to go to sleep now. Look at this room. Look how big this room is. It's huge. It's so big. And they called this a shed. Got desk and like this whole like flower cabinet thing and bookshelves and more books. And then you got two beds and more books. I think, I can't really see because it's dark over there, but more books and two closets. This is not a shed. This is a literal, like, tiny mansion. <laughs> that was actually, oh, the game will autosave when you rest in bed when you end the day. Okay. It's not like a, it's, it's a tiny home. It's not a mansion. But it is spring zephyr day too. Nice. It's such a nice house. And the mayor thinks it's a shed. No, it's not a shed. Oh, chapter one. The one from the beyond. Yay. Somebody's here. Oh, I thought I was about to control the character. I guess not. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, dear, you were still sleeping. It's already afternoon, sleepyhead. Well, if, you, if you're if you sick, you're sick. Not much we can do about that. Oh, I don't, want, I don't like being sick. Sick is terrible. How are you feeling? Uh, okay. <laughs> I never got your name. Do you remember what it is? Yep, your kids remembers their name. You're Bella. It's good you remembered that much, at least. Look how big that house is! How is that a shed? I'm gonna give you a quick once over. Hold still, please. I'm just waiting. Hmm, okay. Still nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, that's right. The mayor asked me to give you something. Would you mind coming outside? <laughs> They're like, you know what? If you're gonna live here, you need to get a job. 
So, great, why not? Time for the harvest part of Harvestella. It's not the most conventional gift, but here you go. They gave me the deed to the house? No, they gave me seeds. Looks like everyone in Leafy Village pitched in. At least they're letting me like live here for free. I don't have to pay rent or anything. That's so nice. We've got a good plot of land here. I guess he hope he's uh he's hoping he'll put it to use. Why why you get back on your feet? Okay, great. Which I must say makes perfect sense from a doctor's perspective. It'll keep you busy. It's easy to feel gloomy or dis when you're yeah, okay, fine. Why the mind suffers, so does the body. No point in dilly dallying, let's get to work. Don't worry, I'll teach you what to do. I'm not an expert, but I know the basics. You want me to help you? <laughs> Chris is like, no, I'm not helping you at all. I'm a doctor, not a farmer. I can barely lift the tools myself. What, Chris, you can't lift the tool? Besides, I'm doing it. No, besides, doing it yourself is the best way to learn. Okay, that's true. DIY, do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, and you can water and change out your tools, which is great. Hold on, let's check the mail. Castle Lewis Times, Springs Effort the second. Awesome. Published by Lewis Castle Royal Information Department. Whoa. How'd they get that picture? Did they like send a drone up there to get that picture, that overhead shot? Castle Lewis News, unknown object lands in Lethe. Greeting citizens, yesterday a giant crystallized object descended upon Lethe and crash landed in the village. Fortunately, no Lethe residents were injured. Great! The object is though to pose no immediate threat to the life unless close contact is made. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's still on fire. I can't read the rest. I can't read the rest! Oh, it's in the way! The, the press wide of plow is in the way. Please rest assured that our intelligence division is investigating the incident. Once again, do not approach the object. The Castle Lewis Intelligence Division. Great, no more letters. Okay, now we'll go do some farming. I can't wait until we unlock the fairies. I forgot how long it is to farm. Wait, can we go just abandon farming and go get the chests? Can we do that? Can I just go and get the chests now? The treasure chests? I don't actually think. I think it's like teaching how to farm so you can't actually go leave. Hold on. I want to do this. You can press X. Grab the seeds. Wonderful. Just... There's no more seeds. Get some more seeds. I never. I did this last time I played this game. I never organized my farm. See R and go up. Okay. It's like you can organize your farm into having like sections of what. That sounds so nice. But I just ended up throwing seeds everywhere, so I did not organize my farm at all. Hopefully this this time around, I will try to make my farm more organized. Okay. Daily watering. Yeah, water your crops so they grow. Wonderful. Hmm. Sure. Not half bad. Not half bad. How can you say that? You can't even lift the tools, apparently. You seem pretty good with your hands. Keep it up. I'm sure you'll have no problem. I am now a farmer. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty tough. That's the one I'm picking. Good thing you didn't make it look that way. But I guess the first try is always the hardest, regardless of who you are. You'll get used to it at your own pace. It's not like you don't have in a, a what oh, i don't even know although they're j oh this farm has seen better days we get the hammer you must have had a hard time working on it the rocks kept getting in the way yeah i can imagine if you had a hammer or something you could break down those rocks and have more space on your farm Crest, do you have a hammer? Okay, I don't know what kind of hammer they want me to use on those rocks because normal hammers are like this big. They're not that, I don't, do I have one in here? I, hold on, I'm looking. Yes, I do, I will, I'll show you. They expect me to use this. I actually have one in my office apparently to 
beat, don't hit your computer, um, to beat the rocks. Okay. Okay. Cress, you know I don't have a hammer. Why would you ask that? Didn't think so. In that case, you're supposed to make one. Make one? Uh, could you make one for me? Like, do you have one at your clinic? Nope, it's best for you. Ah, oh, do it yourself. They're just like DIY. Wonderful. Nope, it's the best for you to make one yourself. You're going to have to be self sufficient if you want to live here. You make a hammer with some hard stone. We'll do that next episode. I'll show you how to make it, but you're going to have to go gather the materials first. You should be able to find the materials you need at Nord Steep. The Nord Steep? Oh, right, you probably don't know where that, where that is. Chris! Why would you? Why? It's not that my character's an idiot. The, the character has no memories, Chris. So obviously they're not going to know where Nord Steep is. You find the Nord Steep if you get off this hill from that gate over there and follow the road east. There are monsters around there, so be careful. Ooh, monsters. And what else? Oh yeah, you can have this. Sandwiches! You receive sandwiches from Cress. You must be hungry after all that farm work, right? Here, oh, excuse me. Here's something for you to eat. It's good to fill your, yeah, there, it's good to fill your stomach before you have on any journeys. Because if you wait until you're weak and pass out to eat, it's already too late. Right, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So you are to eat and restore the energy you spent. Understood? Yes, Cress. Thanks. Food and stamina. You can recover stamina spent on working on the farm HP lost in battle by eating some food. You can even improve your abilities temporarily. <gasps> awesome. I get powers from eating. Your hunger gauge? God. Ah! <laughs> this game feels temporarily after eating. If your hunger cage is even slightly filled, your stamina will begin to recover on its own. Oh, that's great. Well, then I'll be heading back to the clinic. Okay, see you later, Cress. Which is great. We made a lot of progress today in episode one. I don't even know how long this episode is. If the omen opens their eyes after I've left, let me know why way. I hope not. They could literally kill me in my sleep. That'd be a horrible way to die. Oh. Just seriously, I'm just staying in a shed a house with some stranger okay the night once the clock reaches midnight you will collapse from exhaustion make sure to go home and sleep before then that's so cool it's like yeah right the time in this game i'm warning you real quick before we end the episode the time in this game passes so quickly <sighs> it's just like one second it's 10 in the morning the next it's almost midnight are you kidding me and then once it reaches midnight, you will die. <laughs> or pass out. You gotta go sleep before that happens. Make a hammer. Yeah, game, I know. I will make a hammer next episode. But real quick, let's go treasure hunting. We shall explore Bird's Eye Blame. I don't actually think it's gonna let me yet. Is it? It might. Let's just go get this. The treasure behind the house. We got three. Oh, no. Got stellar wheat seeds for. Let's start with, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some chests. I'm just gonna explore real quick. I know where two are. So we're gonna go. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. I'm just gonna go grab this chest that we saw at the beginning. One return bell that will come in handy later. Let's go plant some of the rest of these seeds and then I think we'll end the episode. But still, let me know in the comments. Is this a shed? Hold on. I gotta prove it. I'm. This is not a shed. This is a house. <laughs> Look how big this is. Look at this. It, there's so much space. And they're giving this to us for free to live in. You don't have to pay for it. And of course the loft. Look how much space this loft has. If only you could decorate it. If you could decorate it, oh, that'd be so great. I could make this like a cool like hangout room and have like a gaming setup over here. I'm, I'm just designing it in my head because you can't design it in the game. But if you could design this in the game, it would be wonderful. Actually, the loft is used for when you like complete something, it will give you like a trophy or something. 
It's basically like a trophy room. But I'd much rather have it so I could design it. Look how big. It's just so huge. Not a shed. Not a shed. It is a house. A smaller house, but still a house. Okay, now it tells me my mailbox. Okay, I already checked the mailbox, though. So we're just gonna finish farming. One, two, three, four. Oh, the farming is so tedious. Until you unlock the fairies, the farming is just so... Oh, boy, I'm just spamming buttons. Plant some more wheat. Oh. X. X is the button you hit. X. X marks. X marks the spot. And voila. Oh. And voila. It is now my farm is done. Look how amazing. Oh, I did find something out. I'm going to tell you this tip real quick. Do you see that? That chest out in the distance? That chest <laughs> has annoyed me so much throughout this game. And when I played it on my lives, it annoyed me so much. So I just decided, why can't I get it? I've tried every way to get it. I tried jumping over there. I tried going from the top down. I've tried literally every way. I, was like, I cannot figure out how to get this stupid chest. And it's always been staring at me, wanting me to get it, but I couldn't get it. And finally, I was just like, I'm Googling it. I don't even care. I'm just going to Google it because I cannot figure it out. I should have Googled it in the first place. I just didn't think about it until that time. Um, and I looked it up. I was like, chess on Bird's Eye Blade? How to get the treasure? You have to wait till it's winter time and then the lake freezes and then you can go get it. <laughs> and I didn't even know that. And now I do. So now you guys know. When it is winter time, because the season's gonna happen, when it turns winter, you can go and get that chest so hopefully it does not haunt your dreams like it has mine. There is your fun fact of Harvestella for the day. Oh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Oh, I just, okay, I just bashed my joy ones. Gotta be more careful. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.